Hi, my name is Stephen Ewan Cobb. In this video, I'm going to fly this rocket to Kerbal Orbit. It is designed specifically to be, um, I guess you could say, the approximately the minimum amount of rocket that you can take to orbit, although it's got a generous amount of, uh, of uh, delta V here, uh, over 4,000 uh, 4, meters per second. It consists of a nose cone and a small inline reaction wheel, a battery, 200 uh, battery, um, an OKTO uh, control unit, probodopodyne. I used to enjoy saying probodopodyne. It's got upper stage, uh, it contains three, three fuel tanks, three small fuel tanks, and it's got a, a spark engine and a separator, stack separator. The bottom stage is composed of one, two, three, four, five small fuel, t uh, fuel tanks. And <clears throat> I discovered very quickly in prototyping it that the spark engine was not powerful enough to uh, lift it off the ground by itself. So I added these two side motors, these side engines, which, let me double check, spark engine uh, has, let's see, it, uh, uh, let's see, it's got a thrust of 16 to 18, while these other engines, these side engines, the twitch engines, um, go, uh, what is it, uh, 13 to 16. So it doesn't really uh, triple the amount of power, but uh, it's close. Oh, and uh, I have a set of four um, basic fins that I believe they're the smallest fins that you can use. And if you are unfamiliar, I'm of course moving in and out by holding down the shift key. And if I release the shift key uh, and rolling my mouse forward and back. Uh, with no shift key, you go up and down. With the shift key on, you go in and out. Oh, and of course there's a antenna and um, a thermometer, a two-hot thermometer, and uh, a set of four photovoltaic panels, that is to say solar cell panels. And that's about it. So let's fly it. <laughs> it looks very small and lonely there on the pad. It's a pretty small rocket. I always double check my staging. It's just generally a good habit to get into. Okay, staging is good. I don't really check that. Um, these uh, side boxes you see here, they're from uh, Kerbal Engineer, which is the only um, mod or add-on I use with the game. Okay, throttle up by um, pressing the uh, shift, the left shift key to make sure all the engines are throttled up full. And press the space bar to launch. Uh-oh. I forgot to hit the T. We better start over. Revert flight to the uh, to the launch pad. It's probably good that uh, if if you're unfamiliar with Kerbal Space Program, it's probably good that you saw that. It's always an important habit to get into turning on uh, this the SAS. You press the uh, T, the T key on your on your keyboard to get that going. That uh, activates the control mechanisms in the um, in the control module. That's this, and it uses the um, inline gyros as well. Once you're in flight, it also uh, the engines are gimbaled. Many of the engines, uh, liquid fueled engines, are gimbaled, meaning that they can. Uh, shift their direction of thrust very slightly, maybe two or three degrees. Uh, okay, so we're throttled up, we've got our controls on, we're launch. Now, the um, these engines burn very cleanly. You notice there's not much smoke, you know, usually if, uh, if you're doing especially a solid rocket, there's a lot of smoke. These burn very clean. Okay, we got a little waver in it, but it doesn't show up here. So it's probably not that critical. Now we're burning liquid fuel.
which means that we could run the throttle down or up. But we're going to keep it on full throttle. We're currently at 8,000 or 8 kilometers, 9 kilometers. This is the, the highest point we're going to reach, uh, as displayed by Trouble Engineer. You can see that we're running out of fuel. We're high enough to begin our turn. Okay. But I'm going to throttle it down. And press the M key to, to go and see what we look like in outer space. Our altitude is only 40,000, so that's not high enough, which means we need to tilt, tilt back up. I should have watched it over here. Forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. We're at approximately forty-five degrees angle. Fifty-four. Okay, so this is the highest point that we w we will reach. It's predicting how high we'll go. Now we've gone seventy miles, seventy kilometers, excuse me, in altitude. So we don't need any more vertical. So we are now pointing horizontally. We can throttle it down probably. Go take a look at the wide view and we can see that our orbit has continued to extend but we should throttle it down because we're far from our highest point. The, uh, the greatest efficiency uh, is achieved by, thro uh, by uh, thrusting when you're nearest to your highest point. Now this is us, and you can see that we're gaining altitude. Uh, we are approximately just over a minute from reaching that point. Now, it won't take zero time to thrust, so probably 20 seconds before we reach there, we will want to um, fire the engines to extend our orbit so that it becomes, with, right now we're in a suborbital uh, trajectory and we want to shove the shove the ends of it out until they stretch around the planet and we become in uh, a complete orbit and we're getting close and I'm pressing M on the keyboard to zoom in and out Okay. 16. So let's throttle up. We can see our orbit is getting farther, it's getting bigger on both the front and back. We'll go to the other side and watch them join. Okay, throttle down a little bit. Okay, our altitude, our highest point is going to be 130 kilometers, and the lowest part of our orbit, they uh, put these nice little markers on it, is 71 kilometers. So it's above 70, that's the cutoff point for being in orbit around Kerbin, so we have succeeded in achieving orbit. Uh, let's see. Let's go and look at how much fuel we have left. It's a very tiny little rocket, just a baby rocket, really. This one's empty, this other one's empty, and the, la the last one, where of course the fuel would move to the rear and is also drawn from the rear tanks last, uh, is uh, it's still got some. It's got uh, yeah, three and four units. So, and by the way, I'm pressing the A and D key. This is A, and this is D, and that's S, and that's W. These are just keys on the keyboard. Um, and Q and E. Uh, and this is your navigation ball, the nav ball. And the symbol 
This symbol indicates the direction forward, and this is our marker for center, for being centered. So if we line up our center and our forward pointing direction, now we're going to go to the wide view, and we're going to we're going to burn up the rest of our fuel, and see how much, see what it does to our orbit. Okay, we're throttling up. We're just going to burn it out. You can see. Okay, we burned out our fuel, and it burned out at uh, almost, just almost 600 kilometers. And our low end of our orbit, the closest point, is 81 kilometers. Okay, there you have it. And you can see I have a lot of stuff. I've been playing just this iteration of the game uh, for some time. Uh, in fact... I got a lot of things uh, at the Mun, and I've got a lot of things at Minmus, and I've got things that are in solar orbit, and I've got stuff at Moho, I've got stuff at, uh, um, that's a probe that couldn't slow down enough to stop Moho. Uh, Ah, uh, that's, uh, where's Elu? Oh, there's Elu. Yeah, I have stuff on Elu. Jewel, uh, Jewel is my next planet to visit. It's the one planet that I have not been to. Anyway, that's it, uh, for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, uh, my name again is Stephen Ewan Cobb, and, uh, if you would, please, uh, if you enjoyed it and want to see other videos from me, if you want to see other videos from me, please consider con subscribing and uh, hit the like button as well. You guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.